Hey guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So guys, as you can tell from the title, I have my box from Spellbound Book Box, but check out the new boxes. They are so gorgeous. I love the new design. So it's just her logo again, but on a completely purple box. But it also has her Twitter and Instagram account and then their website with like flowers. That's so cute. And then like share your photos in the hashtag. So yes, I am a big fan of her new boxes. But guys, I am so excited to unbox this because there are actually two books this month. I think one is hardback and one is paperback, but I'm not completely sure if they're both paperback. But either way, I'm so excited to see what books we got and what other goodies. But for those who don't know, this is a book box subscription. It comes every single month featuring YA books. But yeah, I'm so excited. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this. If you are interested, keep watching and let's get into it. A sneak peek. As usual, tons of wormies. Again, we just have like a little piece of paper with the items this month. Not gonna look at it. And let's move all of the wormies. Wow. Ooh, okay, so right on top we have some tea. The Simply Bookish Co. And it looks like Emika Chin. Oh, and ingredients on the back. I do appreciate that. Looks like it has flowers and rose petals in there. That's super pretty. Again, you guys know I'm not like the biggest fan of tea. I have been trying tea to see if I can like have an acquired taste to it. Um, so yeah, I will be trying it. Hopefully I like it. I did have a question for everybody. Let me know in the comments down below. How do you make your tea and do you put sugar in it? Because I've tried like several different ways and I've just not liked any of it to be honest I have not liked any of the tea I've tried yet to date um so yeah let me know what you guys do and any tips tricks to make tea taste better yeah next I see a little um is this like a coaster maybe it's very pretty hold on let me see what this says a Court of Thorns and Roses inspired mug rug by So Literary Co. So it's like a coaster. That's different. Um, inspired by A Court of Thorns and Roses. I mean, it does have roses on there. But other than that, I don't think I would have put those together. But that's cool. It can go with all of my other coasters. So, yeah. And next I see, ooh, it looks like it's some soap. It just says Spellbound Book Box. So I don't see like an ingredient list. Hold on. Cave's Water Themed Peppermint Soaps. Huh. Cave's Water. I don't know. Is that a book? I definitely smell the peppermint. It's very pretty. I will definitely try it out. Thankfully, I don't have sensitive skin. Um, and so I can generally try new stuff out and not worry about having any reaction to it. But again, I know a lot of people who get these boxes have very sensitive skin and so they like to look at the ingredients just to see what it's made out of to know if they're sensitive to any of those ingredients. So I know a lot of people would appreciate an ingredient list, but it is very pretty and it smells good. So I will definitely be trying it out. Ooh, and next we have a candle. You guys know I am a big fan of candles. And it says Orisha Until the Very End Co. Wood Wick Candles. And this is Amber, Mahogany, and Freesia. Ooh, so it's like just a brown color. It does smell so good. It smells so familiar. I can't think of what it reminds me of. Ugh. I don't know, but it does smell good. So yes, a candle, you can never go wrong. Oh, and next we have a tea strainer, and it's like a, with a little leaf. So I'm assuming you just put your tea in here and then put this back in there. I have actually gotten like three or four tea strainers now, um, but yeah, none like this. And it's like a silicone type material. So yeah, and it just says seedling tea strainer. So that is super cute. Okay. Oh, and we have another blue silicone thing. 
I'm assuming this goes with this because it's like the same material. Um, I don't know what it is for. <laughs> you guys let me know what this is. I mean, is it just like you take it out of your tea and put it there until you wash it? Maybe that would make sense. That's probably it. I don't know. I might be completely wrong. You guys let me know what this little thing is for. But to the highlight of this box, the two books, the first one is a paperback and it is Ever the Hunted by Aaron Summerhill, Clash of Kingdom novel. This is so pretty. It's so reflective. You can see my light. Oh, so let's read the description real fast. It says, how can you track down a killer when he's the boy who stole your heart? 17 year old Britta Flannery is at ease only in the woods with her dagger and bow. She spends her days tracking criminals alongside her father, the legendary bounty hunter for the Kings of Milan. That is until her father is murdered. The alleged killer is her father's former apprentice, the only friend she's ever known, the boy she once loved who broke her heart. She must go on a dangerous quest in a world of warring kingdoms, mad kings, and dark magics to find her father's murderer and bring him to justice. But Britta wields more power than she knows, and soon she will learn what has always made her different will make her a daunting and dangerous force. Ooh, oh, this sounds so good. I'm so excited that we got two books this month. Oh, this I'm so excited for. But we have a whole nother book, and it is hardback, and it's The Candle and the Flame by Naviza Azad. Super pretty. Okay, let's see what it looks like without. Okay, so just white and then red in the spine with gold lettering. And I don't know if you can see it. It actually has engraved the candle and the flame. Can you guys see that? Let me see. There we go, maybe. And let's read the description real fast. A girl with the fire of a dingy genie, a city scarred by violence. Fatima lives in the city of Noor, a thriving stop along the Silk Road. There the music of mirrored languages fill the air and people of all faiths thread their lives together. However, the city bears scars of its recent past. When the chaotic tribe of Shayatin Jin slaughters, <laughs> oh my gosh, um, slaughters its entire population except for Fatima and two other humans, now ruled by a new Maharajar? Nor is protected from the Shayantine by the Ifrit, Jinn of Order and Reason, and by their commander, Zulfikar. But when one of the most potent of the Ifrit dies, trouble brews, and Fatima is changed in ways she cannot fathom, ways that scare even those who love her. Out, out in hand, Fatima is drawn into the intrigues of the Maharaja, and his sister, the affairs of Zulkiar and the Dijin, jeez Louise, and the dangers of magical battlefield. Naviza Azad weaves an immersive tale of extraordinary magic and the importance of names, fiercely independent women, enticing food, and perhaps most importantly, the work for harmony within a, within a city of a thousand religions, cultures, languages, and cadences. Whew. Yeah, I butchered all of that. <laughs> wow. Um, but it does sound pretty good if I could get the names and stuff right. But I will say I'm a little more excited to read this one, The Ever the Hunted, before I read this one. Um, but both do sound so good. Oh, and we also got a little sticker with the author's signature in here. That is very cool. Okay, so that was everything from Spellbound this month. As always, you guys will have to let me know what you think. What was your favorite item, least favorite? I think this month the books were definitely the focal point and most exciting thing for me from this box. I absolutely loved that we got a second book this month. I know that those tend to cost more than some of the goodies. And I actually really appreciate that because I actually think the uh, little extra book is my favorite item this month. I did really like the candle as well. The tea and the tea strainer, again, those will just never be my favorite item just because I'm not a big tea drinker. And if you guys are interested in checking out this box, I will leave a link to their website in the description below as always. Thank you guys so much for 
watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. <laughs> sure if they're both paperback. And another sneak. Ah! Is, is this like a... What is it called? <laughs> Other coasters. Ah, and there it goes. Have a I have a Jin Shum Jum Jum.